Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the dojo. As always, I'm Sensei Lex. Today I'm coming at you with an electric, competitive EDH battle. I was fortunate enough to be able to collaborate with two different channels in today's gameplay. First up, we have Dan from over at Moder- First up, we have Dan from over at Moderately Anonymous MTG. He makes spectacular, competitive EDH content. Gameplays, deck techs, you name it, Dan's probably got it. I've also got Josh and Kevin from over at Elder Drunk and Highlander stopping by to sling some spells. If you're a fan of unique, high-powered decks, you're gonna absolutely love Elder Drunk and Highlander. Today, I'm playing my competitive specialty brew, Feldegriff Hippo Scepter. CEDH Feldegriff is the real deal, and I'm here to spread his mighty hippo love all over the internet. And if you're a fan of Feldegriff and all his hippo shenanigans, smash that motherfucking like button and let me know down in the comments below who you'd like to see me put Feldegriff up against next. And don't forget to check out Elder Drunken Highlander and Moderately Anonymous MTG. Links to their channels are in the description below. And without further ado, let's see what Feldegriff is up against today. Today, Kevin is piloting his Zerta the Dawn Waker stacks list. This is an adaptive list that looks to exploit other decks' weaknesses through powerful stacks effects, then use cards like Basalt Monolith to create infinite mana with Zerta and power that into an outlet like Walking Ballista. Today, Josh is using the partner pairing of Jeska and Ikra Shadiki in his Jeska Jund list. This is the epitome of a Jundum out brew, utilizing tons of instant speed removal to keep opponents off of their game plans. This deck can also win with quick, easy to set up combos such as Witherbloom Apprentice and Chain of Smog. Dan is playing his Kess Dissident Mage Brain Breach Brew. Ad Nauseam is the name of the game here, utilizing it to power off early game Thassa's Oracle Demonic Consultation combos. And if that fails, there's a hefty amount of Underworld Breach lines to win the game as well. It's time to Sling spells with my homies over at Elder Drunken Highlander and Moderately Anonymous MTG. Hey, my name is Dan, Moderately Anonymous MTG. I make edited CEDH content. I also stream on Twitch every Wednesday and Saturday night at 8 p.m. Eastern. Hi, I'm Josh from Elder Drunken Highlander. We make janky and off-meta deck tech videos mostly. Hi, my name is Kevin. I'm also from the Elder Drunken Highlander team. Kick it off, man. Let's do this. I will play a Plateau. I will cast a Mana Crypt. I'll cast a Grim Monolith. And I'll pass the turn. Let's go Polluted Delta. Crack that for an Underground Sea. And I would like to use that to cast a Soul Ring. And I will pass. I'm going to play a Verdant Catacombs, grab a Savannah, cast Avison's Pilgrim. I'm done with my turn. I'll play a Command Tower, I'll play a Mox Diamond, and I'll pitch Snow Covered Mountains, and then I'll pass the turn. I'll upkeep uh, Evens, I will perish. I, I will perish. I will cast Zerda. I would like to respond to Zerda. I'll natural state your Grim Model. I will respond and I will make some more mana. I've up to four. Josh, thank you for saving our lives on turn two here. I appreciate your sacrifice. I'll use my f all my footing mana and I'll cast a walking ballista for two. I will remove a counter and I'll ping the pilgrim. Oh, rest in peace. I will pass. Okay. Um, I'll play an arid mesa, crack it, volcanic. Let's demonic tutor. I'll take this thing. And I will pass the turn. I will play a Scalding Tarn, crack that, hit a Tropical Island, cast a Thrasios, and I am done after that. I'll shock in the Blood Crypt. I'll pass. I, I will take three once more. I'll play Gemstone Cavern. I will cast Court of Grace. I'll end my turn and end step I'll draw for being the Monarch. Play Badlands as my lane for turn, and I would like to resolve an Ad Nauseam. I will respond to Ad Nauseam, going to try to counter it with a Force of Negation, and I'll exile a Freed from the Real. I'll accept your turns. I will pass the turn, though. Alright, we're going to play Rejuvenating Springs. I'm just going to pass it up. I'm going to slam down this Tainted Pact. I value Tainted Pact pretty consistently. Speaking of which, I'll take that one. I'll play a Snow Covered Forest. Cast a Rite of Flame. Bend to red. Cast Wheel of Misfortune. I chose an I eight. I worked out pretty great. And the both of well. y'all pay eight? Is that how it works? Yeah. Yep, we both pay in wheel. I'll play a Carpet of Flowers. I'm going to pass the turn after that. I got some triggers. Mana Crypt hurts me. Even if I die, I will continue getting hit. I have a Court of Grace trigger. Since I am the Monarch, I get a 4 4 angle. I'll tap one and I'll cast Gamble. I'll discard a Stranglehold. I'll tap three and I'll cast I bet you are. I have a response. Nature's claim. My target is Walking Ballista. 
I will respond. I will remove a counter from walking blister and I'll ping uh, moderately for one. Go. I I have a response <laughs> to your basalt monolith. I'd like basalt to attempt to mana drain it. I figured you had something, but I wanted I really wanted to nature's claim it just for the memes. I'll, I'll hit moderately for three. Commander damage. On my turn, move my end phase. I'll drop for being the monarch. Um. I'll just pass. At the end of your turn, play a Worldly Tutor. I'm gonna get Seedborn Muse, I think. I got three colorless mana from the Monolith. I'm gonna play Chrome Mox Collector Oof underneath it. Cast a Seedborn Muse. I would like to resolve without being countered and mana drain on that Seedborn Muse. I'm just going to attempt to play a Veil of Summer. Okay, so I'll draw a card off of Veil. Play an Elvish Mystic. And I am done. I will pass the turn. I'll add two black mana with my carpet of flowers. I'll play a windswept heath. Slam this heath. I have a response to your heath. I'd okay, like to play an even mind sensor. I will uh, search the top four cards of my library. <laughs> I'll play Ibra. That even mind sensor really thwarted my plans. Alright, I'll move to my turn then. Evens I will perish. I will roll a two and hit every single mana cup so far. I will make an angel on my upkeep. I will cast Nahiri the Harbinger. I'll send Nahiri to 6. I'll discard a 5 force and I'll draw a card. And uh, that's it for me. End step, I'll draw for being the Monarch. And I will activate Thrasios at your end step. In response to mm -hmm. that activation, okay. Tana Pact? Hey, there's an Oracle. Well, I guess we stop there. Am Should I good to do the Thrasios point? thing? Yeah, you good. Cool, cool. Scry 1. I'll reveal it and put it into play. It's a Temple Garden. Um, I'll cast Cast. Mm -hmm. I will pass. At the end of your turn, we will activate Merfolk Man. Um, I'll keep it on top and reveal it. It is a Green Sun Zenith. So I'm going to pay 2 to cast a Dranith Magistrate. Nice. I'm going to do a Green Sun Zenith where X equals 2. Um, Bloom Tender? Yes, it is Bloom Tender, you're correct. After that, I am done. I'll play a Casting Wolf Run. That's pretty spicy with Jessica. And I'll swing three at Lex. So you can safely block with Seedborn Muse and not worry about it. So I'm going to block with Seedborn Muse and Elvish Mystic. I'm going to activate Casting Wolf Run. I'll give her a plus, give her a plus one, plus one. Okay, so she'll become a four, seven. And I will deal four damage to the Seedborn Muse. Then I'll go to my second main phase. I'll add two red with carpet flowers, and then I'll pass. Upkeep evens. I will get hit. Oh, first time we didn't get we didn't get hit. I'll make an angel. I'll send it here to eight. I'll discard my own even mind sensor and I'll draw a card. And I'll cast a sun forger. And I will cast Toper orb. I'll move to combat and I'll attack a sensei for four in the air. For eight in the air. So I'm gonna take eight. I'll move to end step. Monarch trigger. I'll draw a card. And I'll pass. I'm just gonna pass. I'm gonna activate Thrasios at the end of your turn. I'm gonna flash on a uh, Notion Thief in response. And cast Fell the Griff. That's it for me. I'm done. I'll add a red red with my Carpenter Flower. Play a Snow Covered Swamp. I'll give uh, Igra. We'll go plus two, plus oh. So she's a 5 7 trample now. I'll swing at Dan for five. No blocks. I will gain seven life in my end phase, and I'll pass. Even though I'll take the hit. I will take the hit, I'll make it angel. I'll suddenly hear you to 10. I'll discard a hush burger and draw a card. Uh, I got a notion thief. Oh, damn it. Yeah, you got it. I'll marsh flats. I'll crack marsh flats and look at the top four. Well, that's unfortunate. And I'll cast uh, Karn the Great Creator. I'll pay one and I'll equip Sunforger to an angel that didn't come into play this deck. I'll swing at a... Dan for 16 in the air. Um, I'll go to 13. Second main phase, I'll plus Karn to 6, and I will choose Chromox. Goodbye, Chromox. And I will move to my end step. I would like to draw a card from Monarch, except I can't. I would like to even more. Alright, and that's my turn. I think I'm sufficiently locked though. I will just uh, move to the end of my turn and I will discard down to hand size, discarding uh, Mox Diamond and Talisman of Dominance. I'm gonna scry one. I'll keep the card on top. And you're good, you'll get the draw. Play a Sylvan Library. I am done. Pass the turn. I'll add a black black. I'll play Professor Onyx. Oh, I will plus one. Alright, so I look at the top three cards in my library. 
I put one of them in my hand and the rest into my graveyard. I will discard this Demonic Tutor and this Jeweled Lotus. Cool, fun, exciting stuff. Yeah, let's attack Kevin for three. I feel like this should probably take it. I'll be inside. No, I'll pass. First crypt uh, evens I will perish. And then I'll, I'll make an angel. I'm gonna play a mountain. I'm gonna activate Zoda the Dunworker, and I'll have uh, Kess Distant Mage be unable to block this turn. I will attack Dan for eight. Uh, 16 again in the air. I'll, I'll sacrifice the big one. Yes, yeah, so the eagle comes to my hand, and then you'll take eight. I'll send the Hiri to I eight. I will, I will exile Sylvan Library, and I'll cast Chandra Torch of Defiance. I'll spell I'll pierce the Chandra. Um, I will send Kong to seven, and I will... Yeah, uh, goodbye, Mox Diamond. You were a true friend, Mox Diamond. I'll tap a mana, and I'll equip Sun Forger to an untapped angel. And then I'll move to end, uh, to end step, I'll attempt to draw the Monarch. And I will Notion Thief. I will pass the turn. I'm just going to play an Exotic Orchard, and I will pass the turn. Okay, I will play Mystical Tutor at the end of your turn. Bob. What card do you get? I think I'm going Cyclonic to Rift. go get a Cyclonic Rift, yeah. Throw it out there. Three, six. I'm just going to main phase it? Yep. I'm like a madman. Main phase the Cyclonic Rift. Any responses? I got none. I'll pass the turn. Yeah, no, I'm good on that. Combat. I'm going to attempt to kill Dan with Feldegriff and Dranith Magistrate, and I'm going to swing at Kevin for three. I'll take the damage. And with that, I'm done. I will pass Easy. the turn. Oh, I am the Monarch, um, so I guess I draw. I'll pay two life, and I'll fire off this Noxious Survivor. My target is a tank pact. It has this, this tank pact on top. I'm pretty sure off. this is going to whiff, but I will play and crack Prismatic Vista. It does whiff. I'll play Carpet Flowers. I can not save Faith. Looting. I will discard an Arid Mesa. I will also discard a Vampire Tutor. I will move phases to my second main phase. I'll add a green mana from my Carpet of Flowers. I'll cast a Withered Bloom Apprentice. I'll pass. Well, I'll cast Mana Crypt. I'll recast my Zerda. And I'll cast a Cursed Totem. Trump Orb 2. I'll, I'll pass the turn. You have a Mana Coast. Um, I'm gonna come at you for four with Feldegriff, Kevin, and two in the air with the Aven Mind Sensor. Uh, I will block. I am done. I will pass the turn. I'll add a black with Carpet of Flowers. I'll play a Spire Garden. I'll cast Tainted Pact. Um, Trigger Magecraft. You each lose a life and I gain a life. I'm gonna cast a, a Veil of Summer right now, Cert Dominance. Cast a Swords to Plowshares targeting the Wither Bloom guy. Uh, out to Bolt's Trickery. Oh, you guys also each take two damage from Wither Bloom. And so I'll roll a dice here. One, yeah. one, two will be one, three, four, two, etc. Mm -hmm. It's a three, so I mill two cards. Mill a Brainstorm and mill a Walking Ballista. Now we reveal until you hit another spell. Uh, silence? Oh my oh god! No! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Josh, I am so sorry, bro. That is just dumb luck. If I had had to mill any other amount of cards, I'm not hitting a silence there, and you are definitely kicking all of our asses. So, uh, shout out to Tybalt's Trickery, I guess. I will just go past my turn in shame. So, evens, I'll take damage. Oh, you jeez, know, I'll go to seven. Well, I will cast Nahiri. Yeah, I'll send Nahiri to four, and I'll exile Petrogriff. And I'll cast my Sunforger. That will be my turn. Planes? as land for turn. I'm gonna move to combat and swing two in the air at uh, Nahiri. Nahiri will take the hit and go down. I'll move to draw a card for Monarch. We have one black mana again. I'll cast Chain of Smog targeting myself. The first copy of Chain of Smog resolves for me. You each lose a life and I gain a life. I know exactly what's happening. I don't like it. Do it. One more time. On that last trigger, I would like to attempt to hard cast a force of will. You got it. I'll pass the turn. While the combo with both Professor Onyx and Witherbloom Apprentice in conjunction with Chain of Smog is pretty neat, it's also incredibly brittle. There are just so many points where an opponent can potentially interact with you and disrupt your setup. I'm gonna tap Bloom Tender for three and then Tropical Island for one and activate Thrasios. Scry one. I will put it on the bottom. Uh, then I will Holy reveal God, a game. Recruiter of a Guard and put that in my hand. I'm gonna play a Forest, play out the Recruiter of the Guard. I'm gonna get a spell. 
Uh, Josh has no responses to Spellseeker. Sweet. Get a finale of Devastation. I'm gonna swing at you with uh, two one threes on the ground and a two one in the air. Uh, yeah, I'll take my lumps. And then I'm done. I will pass the turn. I'll add a red mana with a uh, carpet of flowers. To activate Keswick Wolf Run, giving my Wither Moon just four, making him a six two with trample. I'm going to block with the Recruiter of the Guard and the Spellseeker, and then I'll take four. I That's welcome it. death with open arms. And I'm going to play a Mox Diamond and pitch the Flooded Strand. So, Finale Devastation, where X is 10. So, we go get Elish Norn here. Yeah, it's 48 damage. And that's it. Swing okay. for the fences. I die. All right. GG. Wow, what a game. It's not every day you see beats go the distance in CEDH. Now, I had a lot of lucky breaks in this game. I will be the first to admit it. But honestly, the luck element of things is partly what makes Magic the Gathering so damn fun. Also, Court of Grace? Woo, what a sleeper. That card was pumping out angels for days, and Kevin was just absolutely kicking asses all over the board. And Dan's Kess, whew, that deck is hot fire. If you let it just sit and gather up resources, you're gonna have an ad nauseum hitting the stack real quick. And don't forget about Josh, of course. He was playing some really awesome, fun Jun stuff. It's so nice to see unique Jun lists that do things out of your typical Corvald food chains and things of that nature. I always like to see something unique and something different. I hope you enjoyed today's game. If you did, be sure to smash the like button and leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite moment in the game was. And you know what it is. Stay classy, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Peace. Thank you.